Hi, it's uh, Brett and Joe, and we are going over some training modules that um, EWI has put together. This uh, We've done this in an effort to help each and every person that is going through these modules to understand the RedMax product better and to understand how RedMax kind of compares with the competition right joe and uh so this module what are we what are we doing today we're actually going to look at our blowers uh, we're going to start off with our backpack blowers uh, to get going but we're also going to walk through our handheld blowers as well but to get us going we're really going to talk about some things uh, that make our backpack blowers uh, a little bit different than our competition like brett talked about earlier but we also want to focus in on how we stack up against our competition as well. So and, and and but that right here it just says so it leads into what are the key performance indicators when measuring a blower's performance? You wanna you wanna kind of tell us what those are? So the three main things that every manufacturer really looks at whenever they're looking at measuring a blower's performance are gonna be air speed, air volume, and blowing force. Uh, with airspeed, of course, it's going to be measured with miles per hour. It's basically the speed of the air coming out of the end of the nozzle. What, we, what you really want to be careful with is you're measuring from the end of the nozzle, not uh, at the housing, because uh, that'll give you a different reading, because you actually want to see what that blower is able to perform. And that's where that out at the end of the nozzle really gives you that, that example. But airspeed is going to give you what you really want to look at uh, whenever you're explaining this to your customers is, you know, how much that blower can actually blow uh, as far as that wind. If he's moving some leaves, if he's moving some grass, he wants to be able to spit that air out a little bit further. That's where that airspeed is going to come into play. Mm -hmm. Air volume would be the next thing. Uh, that's going to be measured in CFM, measured in cubic feet per minute. What that is, is the amount of volume coming out at the end of the nozzle. So what that really means is how much can that actually move? So if it's a big damp pile of leaves, it's gonna be able to move it a little bit more with the higher the CFM uh, on that blower, uh, as you can see at that example that it gives right there. Uh, but the last thing they're looking at is blowing force. It's something that came in probably a couple of years ago that they're really uh, starting to see on a lot of competitors' tags, and we wanna show where Red Max really stacks up against there as well. Uh, measured in newtons not uh, fig newtons not fig newtons okay. just regular newtons gotcha. that you can see right there with the large capital n measured in that uh, what that basically does the higher the newton the more material you can move uh, out of a productivity standpoint the importance is the combination of that blowing force so the force that's coming out of the end of the nozzle air speed and air volume so you want to combine each one of those three components to be productive with your blower. Uh, those guys wanna look at efficiency, they wanna look at how quick they can get stuff done. That's where these three things really come into play on how they can be more efficient, make some more money, and you'll be able to uh, easily convey that to them. So the first backpack blower we're gonna be talking about, Joe, is our brand new, as you can see on that Starburst up there, our brand new EBZ 8550. Go ahead and tell us about this big bad boy now. So it's going to be on the same platform as that EBZ 8500, uh, if you can, as we're going to go into that a little bit later. Um, but what our improvements really were, and we'll kind of deep dive into uh, what the 8550 really brings to the table and what the changes they made. But the big change was uh, the CFM change from 908 to 941. So that blowing force that we just talked about also changed from 40 newtons to 41 newtons. Uh, it really brings a lot more air volume to the table and a lot more blowing force uh, than what we had uh, with our 8500. Uh, same engine that we're looking at, same horsepower, uh, but just some improvements uh, that Red Max is continually to innovate uh, to get that blowing force. Uh, the big bad boy that the 8500 was just made some slight tweaks to it. Uh, so that same platform, like we just said, um, to make sure that we're getting the best possible performance out of our backpack blowers, uh, industry leading backpack blowers that we've had for so long. Uh, the 8550 is a great new addition to that lineup. And before we go on, there's, there's several things that we want everybody to pay close attention to because these things are put here for a reason. If you notice below the blower, we have this fleet program banner. You know, and it's, it's important that as we go forward, and it is continuing to 
promote our fleet bundle program, which I know we will talk more about, but these are going to be certain things that's always going to be on there to remind our viewers, our listeners, our dealers, our salespeople, you know, to be sure to be mindful of the fleet program, the bundle opportunity, but we can never, ever forget about there in the bottom left-hand corner or the right-hand corner, sorry, where that strategy charge is because that is what makes Redmax Redmax is that two-stroke engine design. So these are just some symbols we got throughout all this just to kind of help re-emphasize a lot of the key advantages that we have with the Red Max product. And then you see up in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see what that commercial warranty is. So hopefully you'll be able to see the same consistency in the flow that we put together on these training modules, right? Absolutely. Okay. What we go to next? So we just talked about what was new on the 8550, but we just kind of want to highlight it for you. Uh, that increased elbow diameter and that increased spiral tube to make that CFM go from 908 to 941 and that blowing force to go from 40 newtons to 41 newtons. Those are the two minor tweaks, still the same engine platform, same fuel tank, and we'll talk about each one of those features here in just a second. But we want you to be able to explain to your customer that it is that same platform, but they did make those tweaks to allow some more performance to come out of that blower. But as you can see here, we're going to really deep dive into the EBZ 8550 and kind of walk through what makes it a Red Max blower. Uh, the top mounted two stage air filtration system. It's not only a, a, a foam filter up there, it has a strong pleated filter as well. Uh, the other thing that you're going to see as we walk around that blower is that durable blow molded frame uh, with some breathable ports back there. So when that end user has it on its back, it's allowing that air to flow through there as well. Keeps them cooler. Keeps them cooler. Yeah. We talked about efficiency. Now we're talking about comfortability right. uh, all with our blowers as well. Uh, the flat volute design, what that basically does is it gives you a one-way airflow. We're going to continue to talk about how Red Max reduces turbulence within this blower to allow that performance to happen for that blower as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the spiral tube design that we have. We talked about that just a second ago, but it's not a accordion style spiral, accordion style tube. It's a spiral tube, so it allows that air to flow through there with the minimal amount of friction that it can have. An injection molded uh, elbow, so there's no friction inside that elbow to let that air free flow uh, through that tube as well. Um, Brett kind of alluded to the Stratocharge engine. Uh, the cleanest burning two-stroke engine that's out there. We got a 75.6 cc engine on this this 8550. Um, we talked about efficiency again, and we're gonna re, we're gonna re hit on it again. A large 77.8 fluid ounce uh, fuel tank. Mm -hmm. It's gonna allow that end user to go a little bit longer um, and not stop and refuel. And you're gonna have a more fuel efficient engine as we talk about that strata charge. It's gonna be more fuel efficient and as it, well. And it's up to like 20% more fuel efficient than other two stroke engines, correct? Absolutely, sir. Okay, okay. Um, and the last thing we're gonna talk about is the large fan that we actually have built into that. Uh, it's designed to cut through that wind that we have to produce uh, that air volume and that air speed uh, compared to our competition, which we'll talk about a little bit later. It's much larger than everybody else's in this class. It's a pretty impressive uh, backpack blower right here. As you walk around and you list all these features, um, it clearly sees why that that 8550 is is the top of the do top of the line. Okay. What do we? Uh, oh, so now we talked about the 8550, right? And so in this module, we're going into the comparison. Is that correct? And we're comparing against our two main competitors, right? Steel and Echo. And uh, so tell us about how we stack up in comparison. So we're going to look at a lot of the things that we talked about on that initial slide whenever we introduced uh, the EBZ 8550. Um, but we're also going to elaborate on that last slide that we had whenever we pointed out some features uh, that the 8550 has. Um, the first one that we're going to compare it to is the BR800. As you can see right there, 
um, our air volume and our air speed and our newtons are those three things that we talked about earlier. The key performance indicators whenever we're looking at every blower. Um, that lovely green check mark right there shows us at 941 CFMs at that air volume compared to that 912 on the BR800. Uh, also looking at that air speed, so 205 miles per hour compared to 199 with the equal blowing force that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, the key thing right there for your customers, it's $20 less with those advantages that we just talked about, mm -hmm. but we're not going to leave out some other things. Um, we have a two-stage air filtration system that we talked about on the last and slide. And they have what? A single-stage single stage. Air, air filter. So not only do we have that pleated filter that they have, we also have a pre-foam filter uh, that's on there as well. Not skimpy at all. Very large foam filter that we have on there, as well as that Stratocharge engine. Mm -hmm. Brett talked about that's what Red, makes Red Max Red Max compared to their four cycle and we'll get into that a little bit later but 30 moving parts compared to three that's amazing that's amazing right there and and this this really is a great comparison how we stack up with steel on the br 800 and what advantages that we have and so it's very telling so great info there what's next next we're going to look at uh echo's new blower the pb8010 uh kind of came onto the scene this past year uh, with some impressive uh, statistics that it has on there. But we want to walk you through where we stack up from the 8550 standpoint as well. Uh, as you can look, we're going to be $20 cheaper uh, on that blower. Uh, they're going to have us on, on CFM in miles per hour and blowing force as well. But we want to make sure that you're going to really realize that Stratocharge engine that we really bring to the table. Uh, the two-stage air filtration system, we have a little bit larger foam filter than they do. Um, but we want to look at, uh, and what we'll get into later, Brett alluded to it earlier, but our fleet bundle and save program mm -hmm. and where that really comes to play with the 8550 uh, and getting that end user, that complete package. And, and the other thing I, I want to make sure that we're crystal clear on, this EBZ 8550 Red Max, it is the same platform that has been proven year after year after year on our 8500 as being the top performing blower. Now, of course, there's always going to be the competition coming out there trying to trying to knock us off as king of the hill, but it's not a proven platform. This is a brand new platform for Echo this year, right? Yes, sir. And so not taking anything away from Echo. I mean, there's a lot of great products out there, but we've got to always be mindful is that the Red Max, this 8500 platform that we see on the 8550 has been proven. And so we know how this will perform day after day, week after week, year after year. And that's extremely important. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, okay. We just said the proven platform here, the 8500. So I know that there's still a lot of these out there on the dealer shelves and that kind of thing. And uh, so tell us about the 8500, Joe. So we just talked about the 8550 and we're going to go back into the platform that the 8550 is utilizing, which is our EBZ 8500, 75.6 um, cc engine, same horsepower, where we drop from 941 down to 908. Uh, and we actually increase in miles per hour from 205 to 206 at 40 newtons. Um, we see that fleet program that we just talked about again, Brett, uh, that's going to be on here, Stratocharge engine and a two-year commercial warranty. So that kind of flow, the consistency amongst these slides, you're going to look at and be able to see is that product fleet eligible, does it have a Stratocharge engine and what type of warranty does that carry? That's great info. So, so what's next? Ah, the walk around. The walk around on the EBZ 8500, it's going to be pretty similar to what we just ran through on the 8550, but we don't want to discount any of these features that each one of these blowers contains. Uh, the top mounted two stage air filtration system, the large foam and pleated filter, the frame that we provide, the flat volute design, the spiral tube design, the injection molded elbow, all those things to reduce that friction to allow us to get that performance that we just talked about, the 75.6 cc Stratocharge engine, cleanest burning two-stroke engine that's out there. Brett alluded to the fuel efficiency that it provides and the ability to provide a little bit more horsepower, which we haven't talked about. Uh, the large 77.8 fluid ounce fuel tank and that large 
diameter 255 millimeter fan yeah and one thing that you know as we're talking about this and as we look at the design of the red max and everything that went into how we can get the best blower performance on on our backpacks and and we talk about turbulence and most most everyone has flown in an airplane and you know hopefully not everybody has experienced turbulence but a smooth flight you know you're you're coasting along 30,000 feet up in the air and you know it's just smooth and how that is and that's how the air is coming out of this very powerful but smooth but we also know what it's like whenever we hit turbulence on a plane and how jerky that is and how it affects the flight pattern and the smoothness of the ride on a plane right i mean that that's kind of that's kind of rudimentary but but you know that's that's the one thing that that i visualize when we talk about turbulence and minimizing the turbulence so we can get the maximum blowing force out at, of our backpack blowers right absolutely it starts with that fan that's actually able to produce that air the flat volute design to get it out there the injection molded elbow and that spiral tube design to allow it to free flow uh, all the way to the end of the nozzle where everything is measured at exactly all right what's next uh, the comparisons and again you know we're 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 always going to be showing you how we stack up with the competition and, and as always in this particular segment in in the backpacks steel and echo are our two main competitors so let's see how we stack up so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the br700 um, and where we stack up with an ebz 8550 um, we have a much larger engine than they have uh, out the gate. That's what we'll look at. Um, but we want to look at those three main components that we talked about a little bit earlier. So we're about equal on that blowing force that we talked about. But when you look at the miles per hour, that airspeed, there's a significant difference in between the two blowers uh, and as well as the blowing force. So whenever we look at those three ingredients, those three key indicators, uh, we really blow them out of the water with those three things. Um, we're about ten dollars higher but for the performance that you get for ten dollars it's pretty significant as well equal uh, as far as the warranty but we also want to really highlight that top mounted two-stage air filtration system and that strata charge engine that we're going to continue uh, to harp on because like we said that's what makes red max red max to allow us to get uh, the performance that we want to get out of our blowers and i don't want to I don't want to dismiss the importance and the value that our two-stage air filter brings to the table versus our competition because if you've ever used a backpack blower you know that that is a pretty dirty job and it's in a dirty environment and we're bringing in all this air and we're trying to blow it back out the tube but it's that important to know that we have a high quality high grade large two-stage air filter system so it will filter that better we're talking about increasing the life of the blower you know it does require maintenance and that kind of thing but what we're doing is minimizing any of the opportunity for for smaller debris to get in there and cause issues with the engine so it's 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 big The next thing we're going to look at is the PB770. So whenever we compare that to an EBZ8500, that was a direct comparison uh, that we had from Echo uh, within that. Much larger engine, much larger CFM, uh, much larger blowing force. Uh, the airspeed, uh, they're going to be a little bit better than us. But when we look at two out of those three ingredients, uh, it still outperforms that Echo significantly uh, whenever we look at those two uh, ingredients that we're looking at uh, we're at 559 on that compared to 499 they'll have a two-stage air filtration system as well Brett but it's mounted on the side um, what we want to look at the importance of that top mounted uh, air filtration system which Brett kind of just alluded to as you're stirring everything up that's where most of that debris is going to come through mm -hmm. and we have that large foam filter as well as a pleated filter to help dissipate that that debris uh, before it causes engine problems which you just talked about mm -hmm. as well as that strata charge engine uh, within there so allow us to be more fuel efficient and allow us to get some more horsepower uh, out of that unit that we're seeing right there 
And, and so the value of the blowing force is significant over the PB770. And of course, you know, you're going to have people saying, well, the Echo's only $499.99 and we're at $559.99. But the performance and the value that you get out of 8500 is going to be much more significant. And, and as far as getting the job done quicker, the efficiency and everything else, that is just a minimal cost difference for what you get i think you add those extra features um, that engine that we provide that blowing force it makes it's a no-brainer on that yes okay so next in our lineup is again probably our most popular backpack blower um, in our lineup across the board as far as total sales and it's going to be our ebz 7500 so tell us a little bit about that joe when we look at those three ingredients or those three key performance indicators, the EBZ 7500 is kind of the perfect combination amongst those three. Uh, as you look at the miles per hour, the blowing force, uh, and the air volume that you're seeing, this is kind of the, that perfect storm whenever you get to that point. 770 CFM, 236 miles per hour, and 37 Newtons at a price point of 499. There's nothing that stacks up against this in this price range. Uh, and we're going to really deep dive into the 7500, just like we did the 8550 and the 8500. But we don't want to forget that fleet program. Right. We don't want to forget the Stratacharge engine. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to forget that two-year commercial warranty that we have uh, on this EBZ 7500, Brett. Exactly. This may look redundant, but we want to make sure that we keep reiterating all the features uh, that our blowers have. Our top mounted two stage air filtration system, that durable blow molded frame, the flat volute design, that spiral tube design and injection molding, which we've just beat to a dead horse, but mm -hmm. we don't want we don't want to lose or discount these features that we have on our blowers to reduce the amount of turbulence that we're getting from uh, from our for our performance. Um, 65.6 EC strata charge engine, cleanest burning two stroke engine that's out there, a large 71.01 fluid ounce fuel tank, and that large fan still on this EBZ 7500. And into the comparison, same again, still an echo. So let's, let's get into this, see where we're at. So we're going to look at the BR600 compared to the EBZ 7500. As you can see those lovely green check marks over there, you're seeing quite a few on the Red Max side. A larger engine, more air volume, more air speed, better blowing force, same price that you're getting out of there. You're getting that two-stage air filtration system and the Stratacharge engine out of this. So when you look at this across the board for the same money that you're paying for a BR600, look at the features that our Red Max blower really brings to the table and look at the performance that our Red Max uh, blower really brings to the table. When we talk about those three things, each one of those threes are, are checked across the board on Red Max's side. Um, yep. And one of the things that we may not have mentioned earlier, but you're, you're often going to see, <clears throat> especially in the 7500, 8500, 8550, that we may be a pound or two higher as far as in weight but that comes from what main what 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 is it on the red max blower that makes us just a couple of pounds heavier so when you look at the frame on the steel compared to the frame on the red max as well as well as the air filtration system that we have up top that's your two pound difference okay. uh, that you're seeing between the two so uh, as you can explain to your customers that that are, are mentioning that weight differential between the two brands uh, when you compare the frame as well as the air filtration system, it's 2.6 pounds difference in between mm -hmm. those two. So from a level of comfort and from a level of, you know, just protection uh, on the air filtration system, uh, that's a key two pound difference that I wouldn't mind uh, dealing with. Exactly. And the one thing is, you know, if they just put one one strap over a shoulder and go out there and blow it, I mean, that that weights on one shoulder. This is a backpack blower, so it really needs... The operator really needs to have both straps on their shoulders. That needs to be cinched up. It needs to be it needs to be positioned on their back to where it is comfortable, and that they can walk around with that and using it for for hours at a time. And then you will not notice that difference in the weight. It's all about positioning it on the operator to where it is comfortable and secure. The other thing you won't notice is how much quicker you're getting that job done. 
um, with the with the key performance indicators that we talked about. Right. It's more efficient with our Redmax EBZ 7500. Exactly. So we're going to compare that PB770 from Echo uh, to our Redmax EBZ 7500. So you're going to see a common theme like we talked about. This is our most popular blower for a reason um, because of the performance that an EBZ 7500 uh, gives us compared to everything else that's out there in its class. Larger engine, less weight, more air volume, more air speed, more blowing force for the same identical price. And you're getting that Stratocharge engine that we talked about earlier. So um, we could spend a lot of time kind of going through each one of these specs, but from uh, a standpoint of looking at just where we stack up, we're a lot better blower for the same identical price that you're getting with the Echo. Advantage Redmax. That's what I would say as well. Okay, so now we're going to be getting in our other two blowers, kind of like our entry level. We've got the EBZ 6500, and uh, of course, as you notice, the Redmax Fleet program with the bundle, that banner, it's here as well. This is a fleet eligible um, unit. Uh, the Stratocharged engine technology that Redmax has that they're famous for and uh, also the two-year commercial warranty. So as we continue to get into this, um, Joe, I mean, do I remember right? That's the same size engine as what? It's the same size engine as the EBZ 7500, um, and you're not losing that much performance. Uh, you go from 770 CFM down to 632 and 236 miles per hour down to 232. Um, you're going to lose a little bit on your blowing force um, from 37 newtons down to 30 newtons, um, but a little bit lighter blower. So if they're wanting something a little bit lighter uh, with still about that same performance that you're getting from that EBZ 7500 minus that blowing force, uh, it's a great blower. Like Brett talked about, fleet eligible with that Strata Charge engine uh, has a side mounted air filter compar pretty comparable to our competition mm -hmm. in that same class uh, with that two year commercial warranty on it as well. Okay, and then uh, then we'll get into our entry level, and that would be the EBZ 5150. Again, it is a fleet eligible unit. The Redmax Fleet Program Bundle and Save Banner is there, the Strata Charged Engine. But this one, because it's an entry level, it's a 90-day commercial warranty. But this is also a great backpack blower for the discerning homeowners that they need something that's going to give them more blowing force than just a handheld blower. And that's really where this EBZ 5150 comes into play. And uh, we're just a little bit smaller engine, but you look at the blowing force on that at, you know, comes in at a price point at $339.99. This is a great entry level commercial or a phenomenal homeowner unit and uh, what's next so we're really going to look at uh, across the board comparison of each one of our blowers uh, we'll make this available for you so you can print this out uh, in a pdf format to help you out a little bit but every single spec that we just talked about from engine size to weight to blowing force airspeed uh, an air volume, as well as price point with that warranty information, all on one sheet for you. That way you have all this information for every single step of the way, like Brett talked about, from the entry level all the way to our, our top dog on the EBZ 8550 um, with all the correct specs on it. And we're going to create this in a PDF. We're going to put this on our website underneath the sales medallion of the Redmax portion, right? It'll be a quick link. It'll be something that... that the, our dealers can just, you, our dealers, can go on there and quickly download and print. And you can have that to all your salespeople, your counter people. And as we all know, that, that you know, the more that a person knows about a product, the more confident they are talking about it. And this is a great single page for all of our Redmax dealers, for their people that, that re, you know, that, that deal with their customer base. It's a great page to have there printed. So it's a quick reference. So, okay, let's go on to the next one. Ah, the handheld blowers. Yes, we'll get into that segment. 
So the first one that we're going to lead off with is our HBZ 260R. Uh, and there's a lot of cool features on this blower uh, that you don't see if you're just looking at it as a brochure. Um, 25.4 cc engine, 459 CFM, and 157 miles per hour. Pretty powerful handheld blower. Uh, as you can see down there, it's a fleet eligible product, mm -hmm. like we talked about with our backpack blowers. Uh, so those guys that are needing that handheld blower to go along with their fleet of backpack blowers and trimmers, but they need something that a little bit smaller uh, to get going, this is still going to be uh, qualifying for our fleet program. Stratacharge engine that we see over that bottom right hand and a two-year commercial warranty uh, on this unit. What we really want to do is dive into this unit. So whenever we look at it, uh, there's four points of anti-vibration built into this blower. We have one pointing down there at the bottom. There's also two ups, up top uh, right by the handle to absorb that impact of that engine running. So usually whenever you run a handheld blower, your hand's going to be shaken for 30 minutes afterwards because of the vibration that it's actually caused. This blower has four points uh, of isolated, uh, that isolates the engine from the tube to be able to uh, resist uh, that impact that it has on your, your hand. 25.4cc uh, Strata Charge engine, clean burning two stroke engine, uh, a large rubberized handle, so it's actually a comfortable handle to grip onto. You can see that comfortable cruise control feature up there, so to alleviate any uh, throttle pushing, mm -hmm. uh, it has that cruise control feature up top. The S-shaped tube design, it actually is kind of similar to our flat volute design to reduce that rotational force that actually, whenever the fan produces that air, to get it out quicker to that tube. So those features right there really call out why the HBZ 260R is a great commercial handheld blower uh, that's also fleet eligible. So, And I can definitely speak directly to this because I've had an HB281 and just at home, but even after, you know, five, ten minutes of using that, the vibration and the feeling that I got in my hand, but I've also had the opportunity of being able to use this 260R and it's a world of difference. The comfort on this is just hands down the best there is out there on the market. What do we got next? Ah, comparisons. Okay, same same comparison. So let's get into that. So we're going to look at uh, the differences between the PB2620 uh, and the HBZ 260R. Uh, the thing that you see right there, uh, a little bit lighter, a little bit more uh, air volume that it's actually able to produce, the same amount of blowing force on there. Um, what you're going to see is that strata charge engine and those four impact uh, points that we talked about for mm -hmm. anti-vibration really is what kind of sets these two blowers apart. Uh, has the same multi-directional, uh, you see that handle down at the bottom of each one of them, so if they have to get underneath shrubs or do different things like that, both blowers will have that, but it's another cool feature that sometimes we get left at, left in the dust. Um, but the Strata Charge engine, once again, kind of sets us apart, more fuel efficient, able to produce a little bit more power uh, with a little bit lighter weight on there. Yeah, it's a great comparison. What do we got on the next one? So compared to the steel on the BG86, um, you're going to see the same kind of story that we just talked about. A little bit lighter, a little bit more power that it's able to produce as far as horsepower goes. A little bit more air volume uh, that it actually has on there. But the biggest difference are those air filtration systems that we've been hitting on pretty hard throughout this whole uh, presentation. But two-stage air filtration system on our Red Max and that Strata Charge engine. Um, and then once again, we want to talk about that vibration points that that 260R has, that comfort, uh, comfortable handle as well as those anti-vibration spots really sets this blower apart from everything else. And then the one that I was just talking about earlier, the HB281, this has been around for quite some time. And uh, tell us a little bit about this one. So as you can see, um, we're missing that lovely little Strata Charge engine uh, medallion as well as the fleet program. Mm -hmm. This is our residential H, uh, handheld blower that we have, a 90-day commercial warranty, but it has a two-year consumer warranty on this as well. But great price, point of 149, great airspeed at 170 miles per hour, and great air volume at 470 CFM with a great a little powerful engine that it has on there. But for your guys that want something... Uh, for those residential customers that we have coming in, 
This is a great blower with a great price. Um, but also for our commercial guys, we do offer a 90-day commercial warranty on it. Uh, if they're looking for something really, really, you know, handy to keep around at a low price point, this would be a great blower for them. But the other thing we need to really be sure that that all of our dealers and their people understand is that this is a good price point for the homeowner. And yes, it comes with a two-year warranty for the homeowner. But the great thing about this is when you're selling this to your customer, you need to always be looking at the add-on sales. And so the way that you can do that is by telling your homeowner customer that, hey, Mr. Customer, yes, this comes with a two-year warranty, but if you buy a six-pack of our Red Max oil mix, that will increase your warranty up to three years, but even better yet, the greatest thing is our Red Max pre-mix fuel. And if you sold them only three cans of our premix, that would double the homeowner warranty and make this a four-year warranty machine. Plus, not to mention the convenience <clears throat> that comes with the premix fuel. We've got a high octane, 95 octane, and it is ethanol free, and it is already premixed, and it has the fuel stabilizer in it. So it's great for the homeowner because of the convenience factor because it's got a shelf life an unopened can's got a shelf life of what three four five years three years and uh so it there's no must there's no fuss all they do is they just put it in there everything's great to go and uh so outside of that our next slide that we've got on here is just a reminder <clears throat> that um ewi we're here to help each and every one of you be successful in knowing the product better and being able to support you and your needs that you have within your company. So thank you for taking the time of going through this blower segment with us.